Dear fellow Toastmasters, uh, I'm going to share with you some learning uh, strategies which will make your whole learning experience more enjoyable and effective. But before I start, uh, I will give a special credit to Barbara Oakley, who is a professor of engineering at Oakland University, uh, who has done an extensive research on the topic of learning how to learn. She's also known uh, for saying, don't just follow your passions, uh, broaden your passions. So my presentation will cover um, two core strategies. First one, taking regular breaks and switching between the focused and diffused modes of thinking. Uh, second one, practicing uh, recalling exercise. But before I start, uh, please raise your hands who has ever had an experience of uh, learning a new concept or uh, looking for a solution to a difficult problem, uh, almost to the point of realizing that, uh, to the point of realizing that uh, you want to give up. But then suddenly, uh, the right answer would come to your mind when you're doing something completely unrelated, like taking a shower. Mm -hmm. So, quite a few. So this brings me to, my, my, to the first technique. Uh, our brain is enormously complex. But to simplify things, there are times when your, con your mind is concentrated and times when your mind is, is resting and, and wandering. Uh, so these two different types of thinking are called focused and diffuse modes. Both are very important, and whether you realize it or not, when you're learning something, you tend to go back and forth between the two modes. But the idea is to actually train yourself to be able to switch between the two modes consciously. Um, you may have heard that, uh, just to give you an example, uh, about Salvador Dali, who was a famous painter who used to struggle quite frequently with, uh, you know, contemplating his ideas. So what he used to do is he would take a break, sit on a chair in the chair, with his with keys in his hands, and uh, at some point he would start falling asleep, and he would drop the keys, which would wake him up, and then he would bring this fresh, valuable insights uh, to his work. I'm not suggesting that we should all get our keys and do the same. And in fact, there are, I guess, easier alternatives. Uh, one of the methods that we, can, we may try to use is called the uh, Pomodoro technique, which you probably had heard about previously. And it all boils down to just getting a timer, setting it for 25 minutes, giving your full undivided attention to the subject at hand, and then rewarding yourself with five minutes of relaxation and doing anything you want. Uh, give it a try, it may work for you. So the second technique is called, uh, is called uh, practicing recalling. Uh, in learning there is a phenomenon called illusions of competence. It is when you are, you are reading a text, for example, and highlighting it extensively, and uh, then rereading it multiple times and thinking that you're starting to understand everything clearly now. But the research uh, suggests that it's not actually the case. It's not really effective to highlight you know, every other line and then read the text multiple times because it takes a lot of time and it's not really and trying the recalling uh, method, which comes down just to looking at the text, uh, looking away, and then you're seeing what you can recall. Uh, I think that, you know, to summarize uh, the, the two techniques that I just talked about, the first one is taking regular breaks and switching between the focused and diffuse modes of thinking. And uh, the second one is recalling practice. I think that if these two techniques are properly used, you'll be able to master uh, any subject. And with new knowledge, uh, may your life become fuller, richer, and happier. <laughs>